Okay, so welcome to 2024, question A3. This is a skew lines question. The image below shows two lightsabers from Star Wars, from the Star Wars movie series. The lightsabers are represented by the skew lines A, B, and C, D on the right. So we have A, B, C, D, and A, B, C, D. First of all, they want us to determine the shortest horizontal distance. Okay, so the shortest horizontal distance between the skew lines. So, um, the start of any skew lines question is going to be the same. We need to set up a plane. So this plane is going to contain a horizontal line and then another line that's parallel to one of the other skew lines. So to get this on the page nicely, I think I'm going to go with, right, I'll go, I know it's going off slightly. I'm going to go my horizontal line or my level line. And I'm going to go a parallel line. Let's see. A parallel line. To A, B. From C. All right. So that's going to find me point O. Okay. So that's my plane. All right. I'll just add a little bit of color just to show you that plane. All right, so my plane has a level line and a line that is parallel to AB. Okay, now we're going to project down point O. So O will be down here somewhere. All right, and we want to go parallel to AB from C. So parallel to AB. From C. Now find me point O again. So we're going parallel, parallel. All right, and join that up. So here is my plane again. <clears throat> okay, now that plane, uh, we've got a level line. All right, so that line there, or sorry, a horizontal line. So we're looking at a true length of that horizontal line from D to O. So we want to look out along that and see it as a point view. So let's project out our points. A, B, C, and A. We'll draw our X1, Y1. my x1 y1 okay so we're drawing an auxiliary elevation okay we know it's an auxiliary elevation because we've been projecting from the plan so auxiliary elevation heights taken from the elevation so i'm going to get uh just to show these connections show the heights a little bit too let's just draw lines down So you can see the heights a little bit clearer when we go to measure them. Sorry, bring that all the way down to D. All right, so I'll get the height of A, C first of all, which is tricky, it's a short height here now. So A, step off that height. C is at the same height, so I'll follow C down. There's C. All right, D, a height for D, come down to D, make sure we're stepping off the correct positions. So that's for D, and then for B, the height of B. B, B, there to B. Okay, so we've got B, D, A, C, All right? We'll join those up and they should be parallel. Yeah, they will be parallel. Perfect. Okay, so that's my auxiliary elevation. 
Now they're asking for the sh all our skew lines questions will be the exact same as far as here. Okay, the only thing that changes now is we're looking for shortest horizontal distance. Okay, if they were looking for shortest distance or shortest perpendicular distance, we would do an auxiliary looking out perpendicular to our skew lines. If we're looking for a horizontal distance, right? Our x one y one in reality is a horizontal line in this view, so we want to look out along the horizontal, so out this direction. Okay, so we'll set up our skew or set. Project our lines there for our x1, y1, or x2, y2. All right, and we'll project out A and C, which will be in line with each other there. B and, sorry, D and B. Okay, and we're going to take our distances from one, two views back. Okay, same as when we did it here, we went one, two views back. So here we're going one, two views back from our x1, y1 back to our plan view. So let's start with A. Distance for A, follow it up. Point A. Point D. Follow D. That's point D. Uh, B. B. It's there, and finally C. Okay, so we've got A, C, D, B. Right, so A joins to B, A, B. C joins to D. All right, so there are my skew lines. Here is the point view of the shortest horizontal distance. So let me get uh, in to indicate that. So here's a point view of the shortest horizontal distance. Now we want to determine the projections, okay? So we have to find it in all views. Right, so if we work back along, let's go and project it back to my auxiliary elevation. So here it is in that view. All right, now I want to project this to our plan view. So that's on a B, so that's a point on AB, and that's on CD, here's CD. All right, so that's it in plan view, and finally we project that to elevation. So project that up to elevation. So that's on AB, projected up to AB. That's on CD, projected up to CD, right? So we should, because it is a horizontal line, right? If we've done this accurately, we should get that as a horizontal line up here in elevation, okay? And determine, so they also want us, if they're asking us to determine it, uh, is they want us to indicate where is the shortest distance? So here we're looking down on top of it. So that's the shortest horizontal distance. Okay, so we'll have to indicate that also. Sorry, just reading it actually. They're just looking for determined projection. So we don't have to actually indicate that. So that's part A done. Part B, determine and indicate the true length of True length between points A and C. So point A and C show it here. So here's A C. Okay, that's a horizontal line, that's a horizontal distance there. So if I join them in the plan view. Okay. 
Okay, that would be a true length line. So it's a horizontal line here, so it's a true length line there. So if I can measure that, I get 43. Okay, so let me just indicate that. Forty-three. Okay, so that's that completed. All right, so a nice uh, standard enough skew lines question uh, there in twenty twenty-four.